let me just jump into your career as a whole. I've been around, obviously, since the beginning to currently right now. So <laughs> yeah. I remember your early years. And I always, and I'll ask you point blank, I, I always found it, you know, confusing to me. Because yeah. meeting you and having this conversation, this is not the first time, but this might be the longest conversation you and I have ever had. Yeah. But you, you're, you're, um, you're cool and collected mm -hmm. and, you know, your, your bright light is on. Yeah. And then you get on a field and it frequently you couldn't, it seemed like control yourself. Yeah. Is that an accurate description or, or, or inaccurate? Well, how I, I would, would you describe it? I would it? call it a biased, uh, viewpoint. Okay. And the reason why is because a lot of people haven't taken the time to get to know me. Uh, and if you get to know me, you understand that the way I work and how I am off the field compared to how I'm on the field, mm -hmm. I am focused on the, when I'm between those white lines. And my ultimate goal is to disrupt and create ultimate havoc for an offense. And if I don't have people upset at me, then I'm not doing my job. So you would purposefully maybe play outside the, the rules? I think, I, think, I think being on the edge and being – very dominant looks a lot of different ways. And I think because of my talent, the God given talent of being fast, explosive, and able to hock down a quarterback or running back, it looks a lot different compared to what other players do. I can't help that I've been given special talents from my parents and, and my genetics, mm -hmm. and then also build on top of that from the hard work and the different things I do. And I mean, there's plays that you could go back to as like, there's no way that you call that, but I guess I had a reputation with refs in the league or whatever it may be yes. to where I want, they wanted to, to point it out. And there was actually one particular time when Tim Tebow was in the league. Uh, a fellow for, first rounder from 2010. Exactly. Uh -huh. Whereas they had him at, on, on NFL page as the God and me as a villain. How'd that make you feel? It's it's not true, but that w that's what sells tickets, and that's what sell makes makes the league. And to me, the one greatest thing that I learned was to embrace those things. And I learned that actually from Phil Knight, uh, one of the greatest marketers in the world. What did he tell you? Embrace it, have fun with it, uh, use it to your advantage. And there's not many people that have your name and likeness based off of what you you, you prove it. And we know who you are as a person, and you're not a bad guy. You're actually one of the best guys that I've been able to be around very similar to how they created Jordan's uh, prowess and everything that he's been able to accomplish right. in his life. So you wouldn't say during your early years on the field, on the field, mm -hmm. you didn't have a temper issue or anything? Uh, no, not definitely didn't have a temper issue. Wow, uh, because you know so many people would think uh, quite differently, yeah, to be honest I, with you. I think so, but they also don't know me. They don't. And so in that respect, I think a lot of people might be surprised that you're interested in the world of broadcasting as well yeah. in Dominican. And you are? For I, sure. I definitely am interested. Like, uh, what do you want to do? What would you uh, like to do? If you could wave a wand and Dominican <laughs> Sue has a gig in, in media, it would be which? Uh, I think ideally I'd be in the studio, uh, being able to break down film, talk about guys, uh, and give my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, and really an educated opinion. I think sometimes we have these talk show hosts that we were talking about earlier, you're yeah. watching your competition, that just blurt out things for, for clicks mm -hmm. and views, uh, where there's never – or not, I won't say never. There's not always a great defensive perspective that's provided. And I'd like to be one of those guys. And okay. I think I'd be very good at it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.